Hey guys, this is Melissa Martini on behalf of designbundles.net. Today for Design School, we'll be talking about how to use the Replicate tool in Silhouette version V4. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up your program and pick your design that you're wanting to replicate. Now I am using graphics from the Woodland Party, which is located in the Christmas Design Bundle Volume 2. And I'll link to that bundle in the comments above. What you're going to do is select your graphic and go over on the right hand side to open the replicate panel. Now you have a lot of different options here. We can duplicate it as a single item or in rows and columns or you can actually fill the entire page. If you look at each item it tells you it's going to duplicate to the left, to the right, below or above. So if I show you here we're duplicating to the left, to the right, below, and above. Now here you can do a row and column, so you can just go with two, or as you see three boxes on this one, it's going to duplicate it three times, so you end up with four of them. This will also do the same item below two or three times. You can also just choose to fill the page, and it will fill as many as it possibly can on the page for you. Your other options you have are to mirror the item. You can mirror it down below, above, or side to side if you want to mirror it to the left or if you want to mirror it to the right. And another useful option here in this panel is if you're creating shapes, let's just say you want to do like a wreath shape, we will just draw this simple shape here and it will rotate copies of the shape. So this gives you kind of like a star or if you do this many copies you end up with this shape which if you select it all right click and do weld and it becomes one shape. You can make snow cones, you can um, just play around with this to make a whole lot of different things. So I hope that you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you can watch our future tutorials. Thanks for watching.